guys? Mike Gross of RockinGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is Jennifer Lopez with, with Jenny from The Block. You're probably thinking, man, how do we find guitar lessons with Jennifer Lopez? Well, I'm doing it, man. And as a matter of fact, if you listen to the guitar in this part from Jenny on The Block, it's pretty tricky, man. There's some tricked out chords. Um, so here's what you want to do. Left it standard tuning here. <laughs> It's like a C sharp minor here, but you're gonna go first finger 4E, middle finger 5B, third finger 6G, and you wanna slowly drag the pick like a rake. Don't go. It's almost like you're doing a, a sweep on the guitar, so. But once you hit through the high E, then you wanna hammer on with your pinky to the seventh fret on the high E, so it sounds like this. Okay, but one time. Then, bar the second fret with your first finger on the high E and the B string, go middle finger 3G, do the same type of thing, but this time we're going to hammer on the fourth fret high E. So we have, and then go third finger 8D, first finger bar the sixth fret on the G and B. Obviously it'll be crossing the high E, but that doesn't matter. And then hit D, G, and B. Then we're going to move it a whole step flat. In other words, uh, third finger 6D, but this time put your pinky on 6G. And then we have our first finger on 4B. So it winds up going... Crazy guitar part, man. But as a musician, the best advice I could give you guys is don't put yourself in one track. Obviously, we're inspired by, you know, we have certain styles of music that drive us. I grew up, started started with heavy metal. But uh, as a musician, I've got the kind of, you know, kid in a candy store type thing, man. It's like, I want this, I want this, I want this. I like it all. Um, Nuno Bittencourt from Extreme, one of my subscribers said he's playing with Rihanna now. So, smart musician. He's actually very smart. But as a player, it's cool to pick up vibes from everything. That's why I don't care if I'm transposing a song from cellos to guitar or a keyboard part to guitar. It's interesting to me. Or I've, I've done saxophone lines on guitar. It, it gives you a different phrasing that guitar is not normally used for. So anyways, enough with that. That's Jennifer Lopez. That's the second lesson I've done from, from J-Lo. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. My name is Mike Gross, rockandguitarlessons.com. And youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe, guys. You can make requests. And um, I'll help you guys out if you get stuck or whatever. Just hit me up on the lessons section down on this video lesson. And I get back with you guys, man. Give me like 24 hours and I'll get back with you with your questions. I, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So uh, in the meantime, take care. Keep practicing. Keep an open mind with music. We'll talk to you later.